here and unload at Rome. Mr. Smith, we don't carry laborers on board. Ground crews attend the loading and unloading. Mr. Cummings, please help me. I've got to be there as quickly as possible. Wait outside. My name is Seymour. Daniel Seymour. He lost my bag. Follow me to my hotel, room 217. Don't phone, don't ask questions now. ask for a job at the ticket office. Where do you want to go? West. I can get you as far as Rome. Yeah? How? Carry something for me. What's your name? Joe Scott. Got a passport, Joe? No, I lost it. Just an ID card. How'd you get this far? Walking. What am I to carry? Drugs? Nope. No drugs. Your ID is no good. You'll have to have a passport. I'll get you one. Just like that? Okay, what am I supposed to carry? A vest. A little heavy, but not conspicuous. Take off your jacket. When do we leave? This afternoon. Try that on for size. Damn, that's heavy. Well, feathers are heavy if you got enough of them. 200 rare coins in that thing. What makes you think you can trust me? I don't. I'll be on the same plane with you. If we don't know each other, remember that. How do you know I'll show up at the airport? And if I do, what's in it for me? It's a free ride when you show up. I give you the vest in the men's room at the airport, plus your ticket and passport. Shall we talk about a job? Joe's looking for steady work. Can we use him? For the time being, there is nothing to do. Something's going over to Switzerland by car next week. He can start with that. We don't deal always in gold. Other things bring a nice profit. When I get the bankroll up to $5,000, off to Canada. 
Yeah, I said the same thing a couple of years ago, but I'm still here. Joe, just so there's no misunderstanding, you're working as my assistant, huh? Everything goes through me. Anything you say. Where do I live? Any ideas? Yeah, I check into a hotel for a couple of days. We look for an apartment. And uh, since you're working, you can take me to dinner, okay? She might help you find an apartment. Hello, Maria. Hi, Dad. Teresa here? Yeah, she's inside. Be charming. every night. Good, then I'll buy you a drink. You know I'm not allowed to drink or sit with customers. This is a very serious place. I'd like you to meet my friend, Joe Pearson. Hello, Joe. Hi. Joe thinks he'll stick around for a while. Do you think you can help find an apartment? Well, there is one in my building if... Great. Listen, why don't we lunch tomorrow and then I can see the apartment? What did he want? Who? Don't give me that who business. You know who, Joe. You've been following him. Well, I brought him here, so I look after him. Then you arrive at the right moment. Unfortunately, I need some help. Come on. He has something worth a lot of money. And he doesn't know it. What? An emerald cut diamond worth $50,000. But it looks worthless. Covered up with a thin coat of paste. <laughs> Very cleverly done. use that thing, Miss Krushevska. I told you I was sent by Joe to give you some instructions. I don't understand. You're on your way to England. Boat leaves early tomorrow morning. But where's Joe? He's with the captain of the ship. Here to give me a ring with a green stone. That one, I guess. What for? You'll see a man wearing it at the boat. He'll get you on board. A woman's ring? Don't waste time, Miss Krushinska. What do I do now? Wait for Joe. She won't have long to wait, will she? I heard most of that dialogue. I think we better have a little talk, Dan. Now do some explaining, Dan. You've been following me around, haven't you? You overacted, Dan, trying to convince Therese you didn't know whether I was in or not. 
Never question anyone like you did the concierge. They talk. How long have you been following me around? How long? I know a lot, Joe. More than you do, in fact. Give me the ring. And start talking. Okay. After you agree to cut me in. Why? It's only fair. I can be a big help to you. Like that phony ship captain of yours? <clears throat> He's no phony. He's very real. Only we weren't going to be on the ship. Come on, Dan, what's it all about? What part does this play? A big one. That's worth $50,000 to Vittorio. <laughs> We're going to see a jeweler. Cutting you bastards in because I need ready cash, and I know you've got it. You can have this ring for $40,000. That leaves you an easy 10 grand to carve up between. You're asking too much, Joe. Then I'll go elsewhere. Can you? With what we know, take what I choose to give you. What else can you do? Fill you full of lead. You look scared. You're up against violence, something you've always managed to avoid. For years, you've been living off guys like me, taking in all we smuggled and, and giving peanuts in return. This is one time it isn't going to work. And you've got every kind of currency in there, I know it. Do you want me to take the keys off a dead man and help myself? Uh, uh, I'll give you 30,000. Cash, now! Got the gun, I'll have my cut now. <laughs> 